Let's solve for all values of x, given that x plus 8 all raised to the 2 is equal to 64. We're going to be using three methods to solve this question. So we start with method 1. So for method 1, we move this 64 to the left hand side. So we have x plus 8 all raised to the 2. And as 64 crosses to the left, it becomes minus 64. And this is now equal to 0. Now simplifying further, we have x plus 8 all raised to the 2 minus 64 is same as 8 squared. And this is equal to 0. Now we have an expression in difference of 2 squares. Difference of two squares has this identity, a squared minus b squared, which is equal to a minus b times a plus b. Now comparing, you see that our x plus 8 represents a, and our 8 represents b. So now writing this in this form, we have a minus b times a plus b. So x plus 8 minus 8, that is a minus b, times a plus b. And this is equal to 0. Now simplifying further, you see that 8 minus 8 is 0, so it is out, leaving x times, here we have x, 8 plus 8 is 16. So plus 16. And this is equal to 0. So there are two cases here. So we can say case 1. So for case 1, we have x to be equal to 0. Or we have case 2, where x plus 16 is equal to 0. So we can see that we've got a value for x here as 0. Now for the second case, we just have to move 16 to the right hand side so that we have x to be equal to as 16 crosses to the right it becomes negative 16. so we've got our second solution as x equal to negative 16. now let's see our second methods now for our second method which is method 2 i'll have to expand the left hand side Notice that the left-hand side is of the form a plus b all raised to the 2, which has an identity of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And by comparison, you see that our x represents a and our 8 represents b. So now let's write this in this form. So we have a squared, which is going to be x squared, plus 2 times a times b, which is going to be 2 times x times 8, plus b squared, which is going to be 8 squared. So that is the expansion for the left-hand side, equal to 64. Now simplifying the left, we have x squared plus 2 times x times 8, is 16x plus 8 squared is 64 and this is equal to 64. now let's move 64 to the right hand side when we do that we have x squared plus 16x to be equal to i've already got 64 from here and as 64 crosses to the right it becomes negative 64. Now this is simplified into x squared plus 16x to be equal to 64 minus 64 is 0. Now we can factor out x from the left hand side since x is common. So factor out x. Now open a bracket. x squared divided by x is x plus 16x divided by x is 16. And this is equal to 0. Now we arrive at two cases. We have case 1 
as x to be equal to 0 or we have case 2 as x plus 16 to be equal to 0. So like before, we've got our x to be 0. Now to get the value of x from here, I just have to move 16 to the right so that x becomes as 16 crosses to the right, it becomes negative 16. So we've got two values of x from here also. Now let's move on to our last method, which is method 3. Now for our third method, which is method 3, we have a square here on the left hand side, which means in order to get rid of this square, we take the square root of both sides. So I'll take the square root of the left hand side, which is x plus 8 all raised to the 2 equal to, now the right hand side will be plus or minus the square root of 64. Now notice that this square root cancels out the square, leaving behind x plus 8 to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 64 is 8. Now to get x, we have to move 8 to the right hand side so that we have x to be equal to as 8 crosses to the right, it becomes negative 8. Here we have plus or minus 8. So there are two cases of x from here. We have x to be equal to negative 8. Now go with a plus, plus 8. Or x is equal to negative 8. Now this time go with a minus, minus 8. Now for this first one, we have negative 8 plus 8 to be 0. So we have the value of x to be 0 from here. Now for this second case, we have x to be negative 8, negative 8, which gives negative 16. So we have the same values. Now let's check if our values for x equal to 0 and negative 16 are correct. Now starting with when x is equal to 0. Now putting that here, we have 0 plus 8 all raised to the 2. So we check if we're going to be having 64. So we see 0 plus 8 is 8 raised to the 2. Will this be equal to 64? 8 squared is actually 64. And this is equal to the right hand side, which is 64. Now we see that our value for x equal to 0 is actually a solution. Now this time, let's check for when x is equal to negative 16, which is our second value for x. So this will be negative 16 plus 8, all raised to the 2. Well, are we going to be having 64? Negative 16 plus 8 is actually 8, raised to the 2. Are we going to be having 64? Of course, you've seen it that x squared is 64, which is actually equal to the right hand side, 64. Very good. So you can indicate which of these three methods you prefer on the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.